Uh... All right, hey everybody. I'm Dave. And I'm Lisa. And this is our first Herald of the Fall series. It is. It's been a while. It's been a little long. We've seen each other on a regular yeah, basis. Yeah, but not you. But not so you guys. It's good to see you. So we got a couple of announcements, some things to bring to your attention, because fall is a very busy time when things kind of, you know, we're back to school, we're back to life groups, we have new fall sermon series, we got beautiful day coming up, so we got all sorts of stuff just to tell you, so let's try to... Get into the details, shall we? And we know um, some of you weren't able to make the Paul kickoff dinner, yep. so we want to especially hit on some of the main things we talked about there. So you're in the know. Yep. All right. All right. Let's start. So one of the uh, people that we had come was David Kim, who is our 640 pastor, and he was telling us all about how we redesigned what used to be called Get Connected. It's now called Next Steps. Yep. So we want you to take a little bit of time sometime this week and you yourself go to westgatechurch.org, go online and click next steps um, so that you can see the different um, opportunities that we're offering at Westgate. There's really something for everyone, whether it's if someone's searching or trying to figure out this whole Jesus thing, Alpha would be for them. One of the new things we have um, for somebody that's not yet maybe ready to jump into a life group is what we call mid-size groups. Um, college crew, young professionals. We have some things for young families. Yeah. Um, I think there's a couple other ones too, but those are like a once a month, um, like event type of thing. Yeah. But those are new on our um, offerings for next steps. So we want you to be familiar with, with um, those. I'd also encourage you to go on the care page and click that so that you know, um, in case you have some peeps in your group that could use a little bit of that extra care. Um, this next year, you know what we offer, um, kind of one-offs that they might be interested in being a part of as well. So yeah. that was one thing David Kim came Yeah, and the idea about is that everybody, steps. everybody's got a next step. Yeah. So, yeah. um. And this last weekend, we had numbers of people come out to the table. We have two more weeks at both of the campuses uh, that we're promoting next steps. So you guys should be getting um, lots of, hopefully, inquiries about your life groups. Um, and so, yeah, that's, we're encouraging people to get into small communities. In particular. Yeah. Yeah. And the next thing is Finney came and talked about Beautiful Day. Beautiful Day is going to be this year uh, on October 10th, 9th and 10th that weekend. That's a Saturday and a Sunday. Mm -hmm. We're not going to have services that weekend. We're going to take our church service and go out into the broader community to serve at more than 20 different service mm -hmm. projects across the city. Uh, and there's some special stuff for you as life group leaders, because yeah. again, we've known this for years. Life groups love to serve together with themselves and their families. So we have an early registration date for you guys to sign up for Beautiful Day. And I don't know when that is. When it is it... September 11th. Of oh, all days. that's easy to remember. Yeah. Is that's a Saturday. September 11th. It's a Saturday. Um, it's, wow, you is realize... it a Saturday? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Okay. It's the 20th anniversary. Of I know. That's, that's why I said that. so old. But we have from September 11th to um, September, through September 14th. It's only a very small window where life groups have first dibs on all of the all projects. projects. So I know you guys start back just on the week of the 5th. So you barely have been together. That's true. And so to decide to do a, a project together, it's quick turnaround. Yeah. But we're telling you now, so you may even look at the projects yourself and maybe have two or three that you throw out to your group. The first time you guys meet or even the second time because yeah. that window is really short, 11th to the 14th, to sign up as a group together and be sure you're all in. And the where can people see all the projects? I believe at if you go to info at beautifulday.org okay. is where all that is found. We'll put a link in the in the Herald. Yep. Yep. Will. Okay. And then lastly, we've got the new fall sermon series. We do. We do. And that's going to come up. We're going to be going through the book, Abraham, uh, A Field Guide to Loving God. And this is um, kind of our sermon series that we're going to be going through for 10 weeks. Uh, there's a little break in the middle for Beautiful mm -hmm. Day. There is. And the idea is that this book, uh, we gave this book out for free to all of our life group leaders. Mm -hmm. So if you're a life group leader and you didn't get one of these free books, you can um, pick one up this weekend mm -hmm. and just say, hey, I'm a life group leader. We got a free book for you. Yep. We also have some free resources for you. Um, if We're going to have a link down below. On this resource page, there's a number of things you're going to find. 
You're going to find the digital book, so you can a PDF of the book if you'd like to read it on your digital device. We also have the audio book, which I narrated, and I actually recorded in this. Which the... I listened to on a hike the oh, other day. Oh, look at that. I'm like, look, I, Dave's hiking with me. That's awesome. And I dropped you down farther. Oh, sure. That's fair. You couldn't make it up the hill. I couldn't make it up the hill. Uh, and then, so we have that, and so, and we also have some little clip art and some um, screensavers and some art pieces that we have that you guys can download as well. We also yeah. have a Spotify uh, playlist. An iTunes playlist for the digital book for the audio book, so really? you can, yeah, so you can get those. Wait, but it's not music. No, no, it's on Spotify. It's, it's, it's the it's the. Oh, it's I thought the maybe audiobook. you were singing the uh, no, stuff or something. I, no, no. And so, here, yeah, those are all resources that we have for you guys. And the important thing for you guys to know as life group leaders, if you're doing the sermon-based material, is at the end of every chapter That's are right. life group questions. That's right, right here. They're, at the end of every, there's 10 of them. You don't need 10. No. I put 10 there just, they're all, they're like journal prompts plus life group questions. You so, know what I'm doing with my group, actually? What are you doing? I am actually, since they'll all have the book or digital copy, I'm asking them to not only read the chapter, but do the questions. Oh, So that smart. they come prepared. That's lovely. And that way we can kind of go from that. Because the yeah. questions are about trying to get the lessons of the chapter yeah. into practical uh, personal experience. Yeah, so, so you have those way in advance. You don't have to wait yeah. for us to get out questions to you. And for those of you who don't kind of, can I give a brief overview of the book? Please do. Um, so the idea of the book is, uh, this was my seminary dissertation. I, I did two independent studies with the head of theology at Western just to try to get through the content of the book. And it's on the life of Abraham. The idea is that Abraham's life, we're going to study four core moments in Abraham's life um, the call of Abraham, um, when God promises him a child, mm -hmm. uh, the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, and of course the, the binding of Isaac, the Akedah, the, the test um, of Abraham. Those four moments, and out of those we come up with four core lessons that are practical, actionable, and kind of a, a way for us to evaluate our own hearts and lives about how we're doing based on the life of Abraham. Um, Abraham does it imperfectly. Jesus does it later perfectly. Mm -hmm. And those four things are um, that I'm loyal to God and committed to him above all other gods, even if it costs me, mm -hmm. that I obey God, even if it doesn't make sense, mm -hmm. that I love and seek justice. I do what's right. I, and I help set things right. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, that when life falls apart and it will fall apart, when life doesn't make any sense, that you trust that God is still with you mm -hmm. and that God will somehow provide um, and that's the final lesson. So those that's four great... things are ways for us to kind of understand that. And this is based on the narrative framework in Genesis of the life of Abraham. So uh, hopefully it really improves biblical literacy, mm -hmm. gets us deep into the story, but also draws the story into us right mm -hmm. here and right now and what it means for us practically to love God. So this is, um, yeah, and... It's been it's been a great we had we had a beta reading group um, with folks at Westgate life group leaders here at Westgate that, that have already gone through this and provided all of their feedback and it was a wonderful mm -hmm. time so we're really excited that we think that this could really be helpful so there's a book and I you, love how you said getting the life of Abraham in us I forget to think about it that yeah. way right it's so often it's about what what more can I learn like what yeah. have I missed as I've been reading but like getting his life in us in yeah. such practical ways. Love it. Love yeah. it. So, so it, we hopefully it will be transformative for us as we go through it. And yeah. again, if you have any, and again, if you have any questions or need anything from us, please email me or Lisa. Mm -hmm. um, we exist to help you 100%. <laughs> that's the only reason we well, exist. That's part, yeah, well, I would say in, in a general way, yeah. as pastors, we want to help. Here. That's what that's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. That's true. We'll also down below have um, the preaching calendar schedule for you so you know what chapters to be reading and when we'll be teaching on them. That's right. So hopefully that'll be helpful for you guys as well. Yeah. So that's, those are the main things we covered at the fall kickoff dinner. Wanted to make sure that you knew, especially those of you that weren't able to be there. Yeah, that's right. And we're so looking forward to this year. We, um, you know, are trusting God in as far as health wise with all the stuff that's going on with the pandemic. We'll let you know. That was another thing we talked about. If any changes come up and yeah. mandates or whatever, we'll yeah. let, you'll be the first to know and we'll navigate it all together. So, yeah. um, but in the meantime, Thank you for all your work in preparing. I know I so appreciate you guys getting back mm -hmm. to us and letting us know if you were going to be online or in person, what you'll be studying, if you're uh, open or full. So you've done a lot of work to get us to this point. And um, I know numbers of people have already reached out to different leaders looking to take their next step and get into a smaller community. So we're um, confident God's going to use you guys as leaders and our time together this next year um, to help us go deeper and to go wider as we've been talking about this last few weeks in Called Out. So, awesome. Well, thank you yeah. guys.
Thanks, guys. And we'll talk to you soon. See you in two weeks. Every two weeks you're going to hear from us. You thought you got rid of us. You <laughs> did not. Yep. We'll be back. We'll be back. Is that how Arnold's? I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. Yeah, that's dated, right. but fun. It is dated, but All right. we're old. <laughs> All right. See you guys later. Bye.